and Vabo the smart raccoon went nicely into the garden and got down on his belly in the sun. Oh, he was lying useless. Oh, he was pulling Joe. Come on, let's see if Vabo himself can handle Joe. Vabo shivered. <laughs> Charlie, who always was snooping around, saw everything and smiled. Finally, somebody got to you. Beginner's luck. But tell me, Charlie, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, Bob, but I have to go home. About this time, there is always a bowl of milk for me in front of the door. If I don't hurry, the mice will come and drink everything. Too bad. I'm making the best invention of all time. If you would help, you would be famous too. But yeah, if you don't have time, well, it doesn't matter. Well, I could listen to your ideas. I still got a few minutes. All right, watch it. Today is a very lovely day. But tomorrow can be cold and wet. And that is a pity, right? Well, I know that. If that's your idea, I'd rather go. Let me finish talking. Today is just a very lovely day because there's so much sunshine, in fact, too much. And because there is too much today, there'll be less tomorrow. And then it is cold. Yeah, what's your invention? That's quite simple. If we catch the sunshine, which is too many today, we can let them go tomorrow, if there are less. And then we have beautiful weather again. Genius! I wish I was as smart as you. So you're in? If you tell me what I have to do, of course. Everybody is doing the best he, he can. You're a better catcher than me, so if you catch the sunshine, I'm a better organizer than you. So I will invent a bottle in which we can catch the sunshine. That's okay. Take a large bottle with you, because I am the best catcher of the world. Stupid kid. Hopefully the mice didn't drink his milk yet. Wobble drank his milk, Charlie tried to catch the sunshine. But every time that he thought he had one, they slipped down. Slowly Charlie is getting angry. He is hitting around and starts to curse loudly. What are you doing then? It's nice weather and there is no reason to curse. I'm trying to catch the sunshine, but I keep on slipping through my feet. <laughs> Catching sunshine? Don't make me laugh. That's not possible. You can wait till you wait an ounce. What do you say? It won't work. But Wabu said. Wabu, that's what we could have expected. He fooled you again. Why would he fool me? I'm still his friend. <laughs> but my sweet bugs, my milk, wait! Bravo! And with big jumps, Charlie went away. Hey, that's what I want to see happening! The twins, Mimo and Mac, quickly went after Charlie. Charlie stood in front of the house and looked furious at his empty bowl. This is really the last time that I fall for Wabu's jokes. Did I hear the name Wabu? What did he do this time? He drank all of my milk. <laughs> that Wabu. Must he always tease everybody? It's starting to become annoying. Somebody must really beat him up. <laughs> catch me? Wait, Grumpy, I will catch you again. What am I going to do now? I'm hungry. Well, Charlie, it ain't that bad. If you mow really hard and really sad, then your boss will fill your bowl again. We always must take care for our own food. And that's what we will do now. On a day, 
what we look how the confused squirrel on the other side of the pond was collecting nuts. Hey silly, why are you so busy? Babu, it's good you're here. You have to invent something. But of course! What do you need? A truck? A plane? A crane? A tractor? A digger? Babu, can you ever be serious? I really have a problem. How do I bring all those nuts to my hole? My cabin is on the other side of the pond, and if I have to walk to the bridge, the winter will be over by the time I'll be there. Well, if that's all, I will drop a tree over the pond, which you can use as a bridge. I'll be right back. I have to get an axe. Full of joy, Babu went away. Babu jumped smiling away with the axe. At the pond stood silly squirrel waiting impatiently for Wabu. There you are, finally! I was afraid you had forgotten me. That's nonsense. If I make a promise, I will keep it. But the dogs of the woodchopper kept me. Then I had to make a plan. But now we can start. Wabu started chopping. This is fun too! Babu, our nest, our nest! Babu, kill our child, murderer, child, murderer! Babu, is that true? Uh, I'm not sure. But if the birds say that there was a nest, it will be alright. How was I supposed to know? It was expected as if it was going to happen sometimes. Child, murderer! Be quiet! Such a nest is soft and maybe the egg didn't fall out. Come, help search. Everybody started searching. They're sniffing around. Even the bear was... Anyway, this was not worth it. Search crumbing. Here it is, here it is, we found the nest! Just what I told you. All fear for nothing. But it's empty! The egg, there! Oh, it's rolling into the water! But near the pond, we rolled into our rock. Well, it's broken! Babu destroyed our egg! Disappointed, Wabu grabbed on the egg. And while he was sadly looking at it... It's moving! Look! It's coming out! Amazing! The animals were looking surprised at how the little bird was trying to get out. The birds could not believe it. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> Isn't he sweet? He's born a little too early, but as far as I can see, he's very healthy. Right? He's alright, isn't he? Still? Yeah, the boy is perfectly yeah, alright. Hey, you should have become a nanny. The squirrel was still sitting under the tree and cried. He heard how the animals went home, one by one. He believed that no one would ever help him. The next day, Wabu left in a good mood to Charlie's home. He wanted to tell him about his new invention. Hey Wabu, I'm searching for the squirrel. Did you see him? He's not still gone, isn't he? He is, and he didn't sleep at home. Not just there. That deserves a wabu squirrel. What's that? A wabu squirrel. If he doesn't come now, then I don't know it either. All animals were very excited. What's happening over here? Is there a fire or something like that? Somebody has been robbed, and you, that would happen one day. An accident, did somebody get hurt? Even the owl, who was normally sleeping at day, had come. Everybody came, except the squirrel. That isn't loud enough. Hey, 
They are looking for me. Hey, here I am. Shut that stupid thing off. You can't hear me like that. The squirrel tried to push the tree away. But then he got so much pain that everything went black. The squirrel fainted. Well, the squirrel should have heard it by now. But still, it is strange that he isn't coming. I think we have found him. That's the hair of a tail. The tail is silly. Mines are a different color. Where are they? Over there! There! At the river? They found the hair at the river. Oh my god, the squirrel has fallen into the water. When Wobble jumped off the tree, the squirrels fell into the water because of the tree. But squirrels can't swim. But squirrels can't swim at all, can they? Exactly, I have always known it. Wobble is a danger to everybody. Exactly! First you almost killed our child, and now it is his fault that the squirrel has disappeared. And don't forget that he drank my milk, and I'm almost starved. But the only thing I wanted to do is help him. Help? You and helping? That isn't working. Then what are you doing? You're not helping the squirrel either. You're just standing there and shouting at me. I'm going to look for the squirrel. I will, I will help you out. No, no, no! No, no, no! I don't think so, Babu. We are saving the squirrel. You can't help us. All animals went and left Wabu alone. And you, Mimo and Mark? Are you also mad at me? But also Mimo Mac, who used to care about Wabu, left him and walked away without saying something. I don't get it. Somewhere this isn't right. I always mean well. But stand and watch how they are searching for him. They can't forbid me that, can they? I can help them out when they need help. And now the climax of the dinner. A beautiful, tasty surprise cake. Wabu wabu! Looks lovely. Cake with sugar. I don't get that very often. I don't really like it, but because you took so much effort, I'll take a piece of cake and let it taste you. <laughs> and all animals did. But when they took a piece of the cake,